Alright, what's up guys? Um, this is Alex Room here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make that attention-grabbing melody that you may be struggling with or getting the hang of slowly or whatever, but I'm going to take you through the steps that I usually take on my own when I'm making a new melody for a new track. Now, uh, the, the melody I'm going to make today is uh, something that you would probably find in a house song. As you can see, I have it already set to 128 BPMs. Um, but I'm going to use the same principles that I use with any track. I make a lot of drum and bass, like uplifting drum and bass, um, happy hardcore. Uh, so usually when I make a melody, it's most likely an uplifting, really emotionally attention-grabbing melody. So, I'm going to take you through the steps that I usually do to do that. Now, there's two ways I start, usually. Um, I will either start playing something on my keyboard, or I'll start clicking stuff in if I have a certain sound that I want to do. So, to, uh, for this, I'm going to start, I'm just going to uh, start with my synthesizer and clicks an idea I have in my head into, um, into logic. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a bass sound that I'm going to lay down first because when I make a melody, I always build it around the bass line. Um, and when I start the melody... Uh, or when I just start any any song, I always have the bass. I always start with the bass and the drums first. So here we go. I have my silent open. I'm gonna push this up to eight voices. I'm gonna take that re trigger off. I'm gonna take this re trigger off for now, and then turn that to a sawtooth wave. Push this up to eight. And I'm going to make this one detuned a little bit. I'm going to run these up just a little tad. Uh, the attack and the release. And I'm going to come put the, put the cutoff on. So I, that's what we should have right now. I want it to be a little more hidden though. I'm, uh, I'm going to add resonance to it. down a little more on the cutoff. A little bit more high in edge. Um so what else do I want to add to this? I'm gonna come to the equalizer and boost the bass a little bit. I'm gonna put the frequency of the bass up yeah I guess it could stay up around uh 115, 115 hertz, and then I'm going to boost the bass by boosting the bass knob. So we have that nice kind of um, uh, loose bass line with the high resonance. I'm going to take this one up a little bit, maybe add a little bit of drive. Okay, so um, now that we have a bass sound that we're going to use, um, I want to show you what I do, the steps that I go through to lay down something really attention grabbing. And what I do is I pick a key. If you don't know like what that means, go on Google and and type in something like uh, piano scales. Uh, piano major scales or minor scales and it'll show you the keys on the song that are in each key so I'm going to pick the C key C major which is all the white keys and I'm gonna lay down my notes So I'll put that down first. Um, the 
but to help myself out, I'm going to add a little bit of an atmospheric pad that will help me decide what notes I want to use for the baseline. Because the baseline is going to decide what kind of emotion you're going to really have in your song. Uh, it, be, uh, it's, it really it puts like the direction of the like what you're going for is really it's it's in the baseline like the emotion. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, so I'm going to show you how I usually pick that. So I'm going to make this pad here. I'm going to add a up the release. So what the so what the release does if you click click a key and you know, let off it takes a while to stop so watch what happens when I put the release all the way down but if I put it up it lets it linger for a little while and I guess I'll do this too um, I'll add a little bit of vibrato how you would do that is carefully notch this knob the rate as fast as you would want the vibrato and put the gain up a little bit and so in the C key I'm going to When I put the atmospheric sound in the background, what I'm really doing is I'm just putting a note on the key of the song and uh, seven notes up, uh, and then the bass line will. S so if that's the key of the uh, the song, which is C, I'm gonna come down uh, one, one, two white keys, and that will be my first note, and then I'll. Uh, try something like this out. Hold on. Pick that. Wait, I'm just adding reverb to these pads real quick. So that's we could keep that. Or you can always mess around and until you get your like main idea of what you want your baseline to be, um, keep redoing, keep remaking it, um, like putting down different ideas until you get what you really, really want. Like, so this might sound perfect to you, but even if it sounds perfect, um, pick some kind of just do something different to see if you like something different more. So another bass line that's really popular in house is something like So 
So you could keep that for four bars, or you can make, and you can repeat it, and just keep repeating it, and that will be your, uh, and that'll be your bass line for the entire song that you would just build your song around. Now, to make this a little more uh, interesting, you can add another thing on top. that will help uh, decide your um, baseline uh, note placement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a little pluck. Actually, I'll make this easy for you guys. Instead of just messing around on what I want to make, I'll uh, do something you guys can So I'm going to pick Star Child. I'm going to take the reverb off. Uh, we can keep reverb, actually. I'm gonna turn delay off. I'm gonna pull down the delay or the reverb a little bit. So the size is a little too big. Um, I wanna cut it off a little bit. It's a little too decay-y. Making it sustain. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna lay this down. So here's what I do. Just a simple, um, just a simple little sequence here to uh, help your help yourself build the bass line for the song and get the right emotion you want. So here we go. I have these lined up on the key of the song, which is C, and then again, seven notes up is where I have the other ones. So a, a popular bass line that I use a lot is one that I've, uh, I don't hear in much, in, I've never heard in another song. This is what it looks like. So it goes the, the four steps up and then it goes the double, long, the double length one and then again. So this is what it sounds like. If I was going to use th that is like probably the happiest bass line I ever came up with in my life. Um, I like I made so many songs out of it. Uh, I didn't put any of the I've never released a song actually that used that bass line um, because I never found uh, like I never came up with any none of the songs were like awesome enough for me so like if I use that bass line I'm definitely gonna perfect a song around it and then release it because I love it so much um, so what I'm gonna do now though is basically build around it put some notes around it and um, see if we can get something really happy and uplifting here okay a nice lead going the other day and I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to make it again treble here 
boost the charm. Uh, I can't do this without having it down there. So, um, I'm going to, I'll do the EQ, I'll EQ it and add some effects to it later, but, um, let's add some delay. Turn down the wet. Um, and let's add some reverb. I don't like silent reverb, but let's see if we can get some. I don't like the little ring it has. Yeah, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my space designer because it never lets me down. Actually, I turn that up a little heavy. Let's keep it down low for a little bit. So, like, what I would do is, um, it, I'll play this through, and then I'll try to hum something to it. Whatever the first melody is that pops into my head is probably the strongest one. Um, so I'll hum it, and then I'll try to lay it down as quick as possible before I forget it. So I'm going to do that in my head real quick. Okay, so my first note. Another thing I have to do, mono legato.
Okay, so now to make this a little more attention grabbing. You want to hear? I like it. I like the sound of it, like coming out of nowhere. Um, like when people a good sound, a good uh, a good example of that is Nanabi Rainbow Road. The guy's name is Nanabi, and the song's Rainbow Road. He makes his synth just come out of the ground. It's so fucking cool. Um, but it's not like strong though. So I'm gonna add a little bit of resonance and a bit of exciter. Uh, do I need it? Fuck it, I'll just add. Uh, you know what, never mind. Not now. Now I'm gonna have a close out. Um, so this synth is actually sounding a little weak. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to double it up and add a lot of more voices because it is a lead synth and I want it, um, I want it pretty powerful. So I'm just going to add as many. because I didn't add the cutoff. So that's one way you can add a synth, a lead synth. So now we have a nice strong bass line. We have a nice mid section and a nice lead sound. So um, now what I want to add is something that I hear in my left ear and then something I would hear in my right ear. Yeah, it's a video. I'm coming. So, just uh, uh, ten more minutes. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna add something I would hear in my right ear and something I would hear in my left ear, subtly. So, like, basically, this is like what I'm adding is um. Nice atmospheric, like calm sound. So you see, I have a thing here. This is my my um, friend Lauren's vocals, and I'm just gonna chop them up. I don't know, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a, it's a kick I added that I thought I was gonna use. I guess. Um, so I'm gonna add some left ear sexiness, and then some right ear. And this, you don't even need something like perfect sounding. All you need is just a little vocal cut that you're gonna like play around with. Take a walk with me. So let's go find out how to work. Mm -hmm. I want something like a short word like go or something. Take a walk with me. Maybe I can use God because it'll sound like ha or something. So I'll try this one. And if it doesn't work, you line your vocals back up and try it again. Um, God. 
so when I'm dealing with vocals, I'm doing it in audio files, not in MIDI files. Um, and I'm not going to use Contact 5 to do it because most likely you, most likely you guys may not have Contact 5, so I'm going to use free plugins here to edit this. Yeah, I want this note. God, and when you have a vocal cut to make it smoother, add reverb that'll like make a tail, have a tail behind it, and then add some delay that'll also help out with the tail. Because when sometimes when you have a vocal cut, um, with the end of the vocal cut is really sudden because people will just like um, shout the vocal and not worry about the tail, but you want the tail to be nice and smooth when it comes off. So since this is actually a left ear deal I'm going to do here, or a right ear, I haven't decided which one. I'm going to use echo because the delay in each ear really doesn't matter because I'm going to pan it to one side. And then I'm going to put the wet down. And I'm going to put the volume down really low. And I'm going to make it actually come in. So there we go. These are the notes I'm going to put. I'm going to put it in the middle of each bar. So it'll be something like this. And hmm. This one looks a little farther away. Just because it is. Just because it is. Um. And okay, so that will be my right ear. And let me just make it come in. So I'm going to add an auto filter. Uh, this stuff always sounds good when it sneaks up on you, um, really rubs you the right way. So let's make it do that. Up the volume a little bit since now we're cutting it off. And um, for those of you who are, uh, always ask me, like, how I make it, how to, how I make songs so filling and like make it sound like a lot's going on. Sometimes you don't need a ton of layers uh, because um, sometimes progression, like with uh, automation, is very filling. So if you just have different stuff coming in instead of just layering everything, um, it'll it'll work. Like it could work just as well. So. Alright, so now I'm going to add uh, some kind of atmospheric effect into the left ear to balance out because you never really you never want something on you know just on one side of your like on in going just into one ear you want to really balance everything out uh, a good way to measure that is if you're not good at just hearing something that's off is you can use your multi multimeter I'll actually tell you like how unbalanced your song is if you click this the J, J whatever that word says can see the activity going on here and if you have a lot of stuff like over here like more so than over here that means your song is like off balance or if you have more activity on the left side or in front of you or in back of you it means your song is like off balance so you should really consider learning how to use that so now since we have this in the right ear we want something that's going to complement the left ear um 
if you want. A lot of times I hear artists use vocal cuts in the right ear and the left ear. Um, if you if you want to do that, you can. But I'm going to try to use a different sound in the left ear. So probably going to use something more analog. So I'm going to open up silent and figure out what I can put into the left ear. I'm gonna. I'm feeling like this pokey sound. Like. So here we go to do the same thing I always do with pokes. I'll pull this all the way down. Pull this EK up. What I got? What? So again, since we're doing atmosphere, these are really subtle sounds and nothing that will crash into the lead, nothing that will crash into what you have in the mids and the lows. So um, just really quiet. You want this stuff, this is the stuff that makes you sound really, really good. So if you pull this off, that's nice. Um, I'm going to add a lot of reverb to these. My, the most reverb I add is to songs in the back or sounds in the background. Yeah, so I like that. I don't like that. It follows these lead plucks that I have here too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the pace of this. And I'm going to loop it about here at two bars. And run it. Again, it kind of, these are pretty strong, probably stronger than something I would use, but um, I'm trying to really think of stuff quickly here for the sake of time. I don't want to like bore you with figuring out what I want to use for an atmospheric effect. So, um, so I'm trying to maybe come up with that. That's roughly what I would do there. So let me look at our template. We have a bass line, we have mids, we have pretty strong mids, and then we have our lead. We have our left ear, we have our right ear. Um, so now one last thing is I need a full center, um, a full center atmosphere, atmospheric sound. And when I get that down, that's when I'll move on and decide what I'm going to do for the next section. Of the song, uh, so atmosphere could be like a white, no hazy white noise. It could be like a pad. It could be. Um, it could be. Uh, could be anything. It could be more vocal cuts that you hear in the background. I for atmosphere, I like to use reverb tails, um, like vocal reverb tails. So actually. For this sound, I'm going to use, try to use like, 
a piano that you like barely hear. I only use a Contact 5 piano, but if you have Nexus or um actually for this I'm gonna I'm gonna use Logic's own piano, just so we're all on the same page here. Grand piano. And then we're just gonna have to add effects to it to make it sound nice. Taped away, get rid of that. Compressor we can keep. Um, EQ I don't need. I'm gonna add reverb though. A little bit of size, but with a lot. Again, atmospheric. It's gonna get a lot of reverb. This one, I'm going to follow the bass line, but it's not going to be lead. It is going to be full center, so pan to the center right here. Um, but I don't want it to crash into the lead, so these are going to be quiet enough that um, you don't they don't like confuse the listener, but they're going to be strong enough. Um, they will be strong enough. So where's my first one more? First bass note is down here. So I'm gonna put this somewhere up here, this first key on C. strong enough um, it's it's this the um, the sounds there but I want I actually want a little bit of high end on this so. come on Something more puffered out. This isn't really doing me. Uh, let's see what that. So this crashes actually into this vocal cut here. They fire at the same time, and I want this one to be more unique, so move it up. So that's uh yeah, that's what I'm gonna give to you guys in this video. Um who knows, maybe I'll decide to make this a song and uh, video film myself making it a full length song so we can actually get something cool going because it is pretty nice it's a nice uplifting thing I got going here um to definitely add more to it though um have fun with it uh, move notes around if you make it into something cool definitely send it to me I'd love to hear it um and thank you for watching oh, shit.